CataractCoach.com. Simplified trigium technique. Look at that picture. This patient has a very significant trigium encroaching on the visual axis. Also a dense white cataract. We've got to help this patient. 10 minutes ago, we injected lidocaine with epinephrine, 1 to 100,000, in the trigium to puff it up, to help separate it, and also to give anesthesia plus help achieve hemostasis. Now, placing the Westcott scissors, we want to dissect the tunnel underneath the trigium. We know it's very adherent to the cornea, and so we'll just make a separation there. And that's enough of a tunnel to connect both sides. Clean that up a little bit. And in this technique, we're going to place the back end of either a Wexel sponge or a cotton tip, and we're going to use the shaft of that to go underneath in that tunnel and tent up and put traction on the trigium and its corneal attachments. Look at that traction. So now you can see there's the traction being held. Now we can just use our crescent blade and figure out a very clean single plane to dissect this off and have one clean plane. You want to preserve as much of the corneal stroma as possible. Just get barely underneath the trigium, just like that. Simple motions back and forth. We sped up the video a little bit here, and we have an anonymous resident operating. So if this resident can do a beautiful job here, I promise you can too. So now it's been taken off the cornea. That looks pretty good. And we can smooth out and clean up that cornea too. We can use the back end of the crescent blade using this quick motion, keeping the blade perpendicular to the corneal surface. And that's a nice way of smoothing it out. You can also use a diamond tip bird. Just remember, your goal is to be as gentle as possible. First, do no harm. The cornea is only about 500 microns in thickness, maybe 600 or so at the periphery here. We just want to remove enough so it's smooth. You're not looking to remove all evidence of opacity. So that looks pretty good. Now we need to cut the trigium off. We can use our same cotton tip and dissect. We want to dissect back here. What's underneath there? The medial rectus muscle. Remember, spiral of Talot. 5.5 millimeters away from that limbus, you're going to find the attachment of the medial rectus. Don't damage that. So you can use a blunt dissection with this Q-tip and really get that Q-tip in there. That cotton tip goes deep in there and dissects it off, and this cotton tip will not damage the medial rectus muscle. Now, that cotton tip is forming a barrier. It will protect the medial rectus as we cut off the pterygium. That's a smart technique here. So putting it on track with forceps, again, there's only one surgeon here operating, just the resident. That's important. You need to be able to do this procedure all on your own. You can't rely on having an assistant because that's a luxury that we really don't have in the real world. So again, that Q-tip's protecting the medial rectus. We cut off our pterygium. Now you can dissect back as much as you want for this pterygium. Try to get the base of it and make it as clean as possible. Here's the end of the case. You see the cataract's already been done as well. And now the conge is dissected, and now we're going to create a flap here, a U-shaped flap there superiorly, and we're going to then have a rotational flap. So if you cut this around in a U-shape, there's the base of the U now and coming back from the other side of it. Now that conge is still attached there, it can be rotated 90 degrees and placed up against the limbus. And now you have a nice covering here without having to do a free graft. You have a simple technique here. And now, using some Vicro sutures, those can be sutured down into position. Here you want to go conge a little bit of sclera and then back to the conjunctiva. And then tie this up, and it'll place that conjunctiva exactly where you want it. Now we can still go back and smooth out the cornea a little bit more. There are fancier ways and prettier ways of doing a trigium surgery with amniotic membrane. You can do a free graft as well. But I want to show you a simple technique that you can do even if you don't have these special supplies. The amniotic membranes can be quite expensive. So here's putting another suture and you can see the conjunctiva closes beautifully. And this will close up the um, conjunctiva over the original site of the pterygium. And then a few more sutures will be placed here. You don't want to leave any of these big gaps. 
So we put the video at four times speed. Certainly you should be uh, great at suturing if you're uh, even a beginning surgeon. That's something you can practice in the wet lab and you can get very good at. And then tying this up a little bit more, cutting those off, looks pretty good. Now what happens to the superior conjunctiva where you made that flap or took the rotational graft from? It'll epithelialize in. And because it's not exposed, remember it's tucked up underneath the upper eyelid, it'll be very comfortable for the patient and it'll heal very nicely. You want any of the exposed conjunctiva. That's conjunctiva that's between the eyelids, that's exposed to the environment. You want that um, to be nicely in position and not having any bare sclera. So these sutures go in quite nicely, and that's a beautiful result. The end, it's going to look great. So this patient did beautifully. So just keep that in mind. Simplified technique. What are the important points here? One, inject Lida with Epi inside the lesion, inside the trigium, before your prep. Give the Epi 10 minutes to work. Number two, dissect a tunnel underneath it. Number three, place the back end of a cotton tip in order to apply traction. Number four, use the crescent blade to carefully dissect that plane while the cotton tip's holding tension. And then number five, the important part, using that Q-tip, dissect and protect the medial rectus muscle. When you push the Q-tip in there and cut with the Westcott scissors, the Q-tip is blocking and protecting the medial rectus muscle. And the patient can have a beautiful outcome, no matter how you decide to close the conch.